In this demonstration, we're now going to look at creating and deploying our web apps to Azure. So we have our app service plan already created. Now we want to go ahead and deploy web applications into it. So let's start out first by deploying this from the portal. Okay, so in the Azure portal, let's select create a resource and let's type in web and then select web app from the drop down and go ahead and click create. This will take us to the web app creation screen. So first thing we need to do is give it a name. So we'll call this one Skylines Portal because we're gonna do another one from Visual Studio in a moment. Select our subscription, so we'll use pay as you go and I'm going to change the resource group. It does create a new one for you when you create in a web app, but I wanna just put everything together in my SL-app services resource group so I can just delete everything at the end. And then I'm going to make this a Windows based one and then for my app service plan, I can choose to create a new one or I can simply select my existing one that I created in the previous demo. So we'll go ahead and choose that one. Finally, you do have an option to turn app insights on. This is a monitoring technique. So if we wanted to get application insights, similar to like New Relic and App Dynamics tools like that, you can turn this on at this point as well, but we're not going to do that right now. So we'll go ahead and click Create, and that will begin deploying our web app. And we'll just fast forward here until that completes. Okay, and that deployment succeeded. So we'll go to that resource. And we can see there Skylines Portal. And if we select this URL, you'll notice that they already put in a dummy website for us to kind of prove that the service is up and running. So we can see that that web app is deployed. So that's one way to deploy it. And we'll get into all the configuration settings a little bit later on. Um, but what if we want to kind of do this from Visual Studio? What if we've got some code we actually want to deploy? So that's the other great thing. If we go to Visual Studio and start off with a new project, so we'll create a brand new .NET application, so I'll hit new project, and we'll choose web, we'll choose ASP.NET Core Web Application, we'll give this a name, we'll just call it Skylines Web App, and go ahead and select OK. That's going to create a skeleton uh, web app for us, I'm going to select the defaults here, I'm going to use the model view controller model, the MVC model, and select OK, this is a pretty typical model for a lot of .NET developers. And then it goes ahead and creates everything there. If I want to just check this locally, first of all, I can go ahead and run that. So I'll hit debug and select start without debugging. So I'm not trying to do any kind of monitoring or anything at this point. And that will open up this application. Let's just take a look at it locally, first of all, before we push it up to Azure. So there we can see they've also given us a sample web page. So what we'll do is go ahead and click about. And we're going to add some information to the screen. So it says, yeah, use this area to provide additional information. We'll go back into Visual Studio. Let me close this out and go to the About section. So if we go into www root and look for, uh, might be under our controllers here. Yep, it's under our view. And go to About. And we can see that, that your title is about. The message actually comes from the controller. But you can use this area to provide additional information. So we'll change this and we'll call this you know, Visual Studio Deploy. And we will go ahead and save that. And now we can go ahead and publish that to Azure. Now to do that, simply scroll back up on the right hand side, right click your web app and choose publish, select start. And then we have the choice of creating new or selecting an existing. So if we select existing and go ahead and select publish, yeah, you'll see we've got a subscription and in our resource group view, if we expand this out, we can see Skylines portal there. That's the one we deployed from the portal earlier on. Uh, but you can see we can deploy into this, we can deploy into you know deployment slots if we create one as well. Um, we'll come back to that a little bit later on. But hit cancel, let's go ahead and create new. So if I select create new, click publish, and then it'll ask me to create an app service, but I can choose my existing app service plan. So I can go ahead and select the one I've already got. So I can share both these web apps on the same plan, but I can give it a different name. So we'll call it Skylines Visual Studio. And that's there, that's gonna work for us. Uh, pay as you go subscription. And in our resource group, we wanna use the SL app services resource group as well. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and click create. 
Okay, and that's currently now publishing. It's created the web app on Azure, and now it's publishing, basically deploying directly into it. So we'll fast forward again here while that completes. Okay, everything completed successfully, and so now it's pulling up the website at skylinesvisualstudio.azurewebsites.net. And we can see that published successfully. Let's select the About page, and we can see that Visual Studio Deploy is there. And so that's it. We'll jump back to the portal very quickly just to show you the app service plan. So if I go back to home, go back to app services on the left hand side, and you can see we've got Skylines Portal, Skylines Visual Studio, and both of them are using the same SL app service plan that we created in the first demo. And with that, that concludes this demonstration. And I hope that gives you an idea of the different ways you can create web apps either from the portal or from Visual Studio. You can certainly do it via command line as well, but these are very common ways to get things done.